Here's question 23. At Xanthe, Yoko and Zara are running around a circular track. They all start together. Speedy Xanthe completes eight laps in the same time that Yoko runs four laps and Zara runs three laps. How many laps has Xanthe run in the first time they reach the start line together? Now, I want to say something. I think they uh, made a slight mistake when they wrote this question. In fact, they say in the solutions that it wasn't quite the question that they intended. They wanted to write a question about lowest common multiples here, but it hasn't actually quite worked out that way. So if you've done this as a lowest common multiples question and you've got the answer of 24, they say uh, in the solutions uh, that scores might want to accept that because the scores will be marking uh, these themselves. But it's not the right answer to this question. And let me show you why. And the simple answer is this. Um, when Xanthe has completed those eight laps, Yoko has completed exactly four laps as well, and Zara has also completed exactly three laps. So just from that information in the question, um, they're all going to be together at the same time after they've done those numbers of laps. So the answer here is actually just eight laps. Uh, it's exactly what they've done uh, after one set of things they've done in the questions. They'll all be back at the start line, and that's the first time uh, it will have happened. And if you're, if you're thinking, oh, could it happen sooner than that? Well, actually, definitely not. Think about Zara, for example. Um, after Zara's done one and two laps, uh, the others would only be like one third and two thirds of the way through their equivalent amounts, so they won't be at a whole number of laps at that point. Assuming, of course, they're all going at a constant speed. We have to assume they're all going uh, at a constant speed around, otherwise they might meet at all sorts of uh, times. Um, but we do make that assumption in this sort of question. So there we go. Um, not quite the question that was intended, but actually for that reason, I think it makes quite an interesting question. I wouldn't allow the answer 24 uh, from my students here uh, because it's an interesting uh, question that tests really, are you paying attention here and uh, can you spot uh, what's going on? And uh, so I think actually it's still a very good question.